Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Icket Claw in Immortal Empires, and I left off here with this battle against Aranessa Salt Spite, and it says it's a Pyrrhic victory with high casualties, and I lose a ton of my army. It is in the underway. Now, I think this one does not necessarily have reinforcements because it's a garrison. I was pretty confident that I could do okay with this. They do have guns. My Jezel should outrange their guns. My mortars also outrange their guns. So, I mean, for the most part, I'm thinking their mortars outrange my mortars, but my artillery outranges theirs. So I think all in all, I'm going to get some of these just to have. Yeah, I think all in all, I think we'll be okay. We shall see. Now, in case you haven't noticed from a couple of recordings ago, I did get a new mic. I'm still playing around with it to see if it, if I can make it sound good. I think it sounds okay, but if it doesn't sound good, and then I apologize. Still trying to work out all of the details because I'm not really a good like audio person. So I'm trying to learn along the way and we'll see. Thank goodness for YouTube and all the tutorials out there because otherwise I would not be able to do any of this on my own. All right, so I'm gonna start by bringing everybody back. Back here. So, I think I'm gonna set up kind of how I usually do. So just a little bit. And then mortars. I don't really think my rattling guns are going to be all that much involved in this. Just due to their more limited range. And I don't really want them to get like sniped. So I might just have the Jezails do most of the heavy lifting. And the whole thought process is that my melee units won't need to be used at all. So these hell pit abominations are going to be big targets for their guns if I put them like too far out in the middle of things. Have my plague priest nearby to cast spells if uh, things go awry in the middle. And then you're a gray seer. Okay. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm nervous. I haven't fought the uh, vampire coast as the Skaven. They do have some bats. Or not bats, deck droppers. Which, they're just basically guys carried by bats, right? Yeah. Alright, we're just going to sit here for two minutes <laughs> because they have to wait for their... Oh, they do have regular bats, too. To wait for their uh, reinforcements to arrive. And then they'll get into formation, and then they'll come on down, and... Yeah, so. The Warp Lightning Cannon is the furthest, which I really want to target Aranessa. She is a large target. Definitely one I don't want to be hitting my melee. Hitting my, uh, guns. And by, I, when I said melee, I meant my guns. My front line, which are guns. Okay, so there's one. Oh, no, there. Okay, they did make it on. Now the next thing is, are they, because I want to say they attacked me, so hopefully they will actually come after me. Oh, Blooded Corpse, definitely want to get rid of those. I don't think any of her units have stock. We may be in for a surprise if they do. 
Nice thing is she doesn't really have cavalry. She's got... Well, animated hulks are not cavalry. Are they? They're just monsters, aren't they? Monstrous infantry. Yeah. Okay, make sure my... Probably move these guys over just a bit. I think I have enough time to move them over. Are they marching their way down here? They are. Okay. Heavy concentration on that side. But the mortars cover almost the entire map. So if I need to, I could scooch these guys down just a bit. So they cover all of it. They cover most of it. Yeah, okay. Because the mortars are going to be clutch. their guns and by having my Jezails be my front line my Jezails will be able to pick off their guns before their guns reach me so it's not a situation of me having guns further back and like front line melee closer where they could potentially their range could hit my melee before my guns would hit them now it's like I'm sending everything I got at them before they'll even hit me so These rattling guns right behind my Jezails are probably a poor, poor choice. I just want to like move them over here. Uh, I'll just leave them. All right, let's slow this down just a little bit because okay, Jezails are shooting at deckhand mobs. Okay. Depth guard are definitely going to be a high priority ticket. They're not quite in range yet for the Death Guard. They are for you guys. The Warp Lightning Cannon is firing at just regular guys. Baroness is almost in range. And then this is the line for the mortars. That's where the real excitement is going to take place. Okay, almost. Bloated Corpse I also need to make sure we take care of. that bloated corpse is right there. Okay, we gotta try to kill Ernest at fast. Target the big blobs if you can. Keep an eye on... The only thing that really stinks is I do not have Howling Warp Gale. So those flying guys I really have to be careful of. To die. Die, die, die. Claw catapult. Okay, hold up a second. Okay, so we got this guy coming in hot. Really hot. Oh shoot, the fell bats came in. I totally missed them. Okay. 
They are shooting my Jezails, so I'm gonna have them actually step back a bit. I think the Vermintide can take care of that. Our deck droppers. Okay. We're very, very risky. Very, very risky what I'm doing here. Is there mortars can reach me? Totally bypassed this guy. All right, I might not have, I may not have played this very well. I may have to send my uh, help and abominations in. Oh, I don't have very much winds of magic with this army. Holy bonkers. Bloated corpse all the way back there. That's interesting. Animated hulks definitely don't want them in my business. Yeah, this is going to be real tricky. Oh, no. Oh, no! I almost just want to pull the Jezels all the way back. I'm nervous. Send these guys up. Clan rats run into that blob there. Have you go after Johnny. I think his name is Johnny. Johnny Sharp! Oh, they're getting annihilated by the rattling guns. Howling Warp Gale is very important, guys. Just in case you weren't sure. Very important when you've got flying things. Guys, keep shooting them. Okay, all right, so they're good. Okay. Where else do we have problems? This guy is disintegrating, crumbling army losses. Okay, so I think, I think we're okay, but I don't want to play it safe because my Jezails took a beating. Probably didn't micromanage quite as efficiently as I should have. Also, the mortars are a problem that I didn't... I should have probably used one of the menace blows on the mortars, but that's okay. Alright, my health and abomination is dying. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. Too bad I, like, can't just regen. I mean, this thing is, it's crumbling slowly. What were you still shooting at, mortars? There's nobody there. All right, so they are regenerating very slowly. Okay, mortars didn't do quite as much as I was hoping that they would. He's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Better be careful because he could actually get me. No, 
him. I think we'll get him with this stuff first. Okay, decisive victory. Alrighty. My Jezels healed mostly up my Hell Pit Abominations. Less so, but that's okay. The only thing is some stinking vampire coasts don't die when they are killed, so. To probably deal with, like, the same issue I had with Vlad. Jason is currently playing a Luther Harkon campaign, so he's very familiar with all of these vampire armies. Uh, replenish? I will replenish. I think. Murder slave. Sacrifice to holy rat. It's been a little bit since I've played, so I'm trying to see. Oh, Wolfric took out the crag halls. Very interesting. So, chant. Do I want to lose your loyalty? You're super loyal. Do you want this executioner's axe? Because I don't. Well, I guess I could use the money. It's not very much money, though. We'll just do that. Oh, Hellkeek. Okay, so Shav was working his way up here. Durthu's got just one place left. But Shab still needs to replenish. Ike Claw is pretty much good to go, except for Metastone, but he may just have to deal with it. Now, do I let Scrag? Do I trust Scrag to take on Durthu? Probably not. So I'm going to send Ike up here. Shab, Garer, I'll let you replenish a little bit more. Chant. I mean, I should be able to take Miragliano, right? It's got. Yeah, it's got. Let's see if we can get the vampire corruption out of here. The port, and I'm gonna tear that down because I want to have a garrison. Now, Aranessa does have a couple other armies who I'm. Wouldn't be surprised if they go to Xerixil, so. Um, I had Arkling. I think. Oh, these stupid rogue armies are gonna be super annoying. Let's take Arkling down as fast as I can. Is anybody else free? Vermich, you don't count. <laughs> Vermich, I don't know what to do with you. You're kind of just sitting at the border to protect against the Chaos Dwarfs. Throt is making his way back. Oh, he is actually going to Karak Ezor. That's right. You get there, you cannot get there in one move, so we'll just so tell where food flesh kept it. So Garer, actually I'm gonna bring him over here. Now the big issue is just gonna be preventing rebellions in these areas. Because very much control problems so far. Uh, the provincial instability is the biggest one. Not the Oak of Ages is fine. King's Glade. Yeah, so once that goes down it should be okay, but the climate doesn't help and my food right now is not good, so. Warpstone. Chant. Good for 
give you the Vermintide spell, too. You only get one slot of Vermintide, though. Do you also get Pestilent Birth? You don't. What's this? The Dreaded 13th. Oh, summon Storm Vermin. Huge explosion area, strong. Oh, explosive. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, good deal. Now here's the part where I have no money to build any of the stuff that I want to build because I feel like I had a lot that needed to be built. This doesn't do any good except just adds more of a garrison, so I'm going to let that fly, I think, for a little bit. That I could get up to tier 4. That would help income and control. I just want to see if there's anywhere that doesn't have a garrison yet. What's this? Some walls. <sighs> Montfort does not, but I guess I could... Get that up to tier three, Volksgrad. So what if I gave this to See they really hate all of these treaties. Yikes. It says that we are improving. Alright, so this could get me a non-aggression pact and trade. And okay. I'm going to... I'm going to go with it. Keep him in my good graces. Okay. So then I should be able to do this, 8k, and then there was, where was it that I could get up to tier 4? Templehof, and then these are just good incomes to have, Ostermark. Oh, Carrick Norn can't. Oh, Carrick Norn could actually get a garrison going. Oh, I'm just shy of it. Ooh. Might fear the pipe. Burn the coastlines. Weak. So you're at war with Mazda Mundi, which wouldn't impact me all that much if you. God. And destruction. Choose your words, for you stand before supreme power. Ends justify means. The four some call me the dark master, the pack. Okay, we'll just start As allying Caesar. with all the bad guys. So I could put this here, but now I don't have enough money for that. But it, I mean, it is what it is. I think I'm going to call that good for this turn. Oh boy. I can I was going to say I could foresee some issues here, but I really kind of want to watch this. Is that horrible? Will you guys hate me if I watch this because I think it'll be funny. Let's fight it and see. Technically a siege battle. Can I have all my rats come in like this little tiny narrow area? I don't plan on helping at all with this. Just FYI, uh, Scrag's going to have to do his thing. If he waits for me to show up, I'm just going to hide. I'm just going to stay back and let him go because I'm just here as a casual observer. All right, so my I'm coming in 50 seconds. Oh, good grief. Why do I have to come in so f soon? All right, I'm going to actually change this so that I come in differently. Actually, I think I should be able to do a second. No, I didn't want to move him. I want to move me. If I come in from over here, I can't. 
It don't like that. Uh, I thought I could come in from over here. Now it's three minutes and 20 seconds, baby. Oh, he's just charging right in. Bold move, Scrag. Bold move. The foe attacks our ally. Oh no, I'm so afraid. I honestly didn't even look to see what Scrag has in his army. This isn't even Scrag, it's Grout. Didn't even look to see what he has in his army. The thing is, I don't know what they're doing over here, is if they can get into melee with the elves, they'll absolutely like crush them probably. Um, they do have Treekin though. Durthu's nothing to scoff at either. They have a Spellslinger Life and a Glade Captain. Durthu and... Yeah. But like if they can get in with the archers, they'll be really heavy hitters. I don't know what they're doing though. What is he having his people do? Oh, he has a Doom Wheel from me? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. I was like, I'm not here yet. Why is there a doom wheel? It's me. Does he have another? He's got lead belchers. That's pretty intense. Um, yeah, I was gonna say this doom wheel is not gonna last long. It's anti-infantry and it's up against I guess technically some of these guys are well the glade riders questing questing knights he has this is like this is so funny the remnants of bretonia all right so your reinforcements have arrived so you're currently fighting these Wild Riders and your Ogre Bulls are losing. Okay, more reinforcements have arrived. Okay. No problem. Jared. Jared the Feaster. What a name. Alright, you're not doing so hot over here, Scrag. I'll be in 30 seconds, but like I said, not planning on doing anything. Maybe Ikit Claw will go help or something. I don't know. Meanwhile, these guys are really bunched up trying to take this one supply location. I just don't know if they can even kill Durthu. Like, they might just need me. But then I'll end up killing a lot of them. Probably. I almost feel like Durthu could potentially just like wipe their army out. All right, this is a mess. Momentum. All right, we do have the momentum. Don't even know where Durthu went. Grout is just standing there letting himself be shot. Look at this mess. So what if I positioned like... I don't know, something like this. Maybe put like... My mortars or something. But then I'll probably just keep my guns. Like back here. 
Oh, I ache claws all the way at the end there. You're doing great, boys. Oh yeah, Durthu. It's really not dying at all. What you need is some guts. Oh, this is Durthu. Has ward save 10%, physical resistance 20%, missile resistance 15, spell resistance 30. What if I just pop a little spell resistance debuff on him? anything good against like single combatants I don't think uh oh so these glade riders are gonna come back after me I do need to bring like my Jezails up here. Where would they need to go if I told them to shoot at Durthu? I'm just curious. Because his whole army is crumbling. And they're going to start running my direction. The last thing I need is Durthu coming after me. Alright, so my Jezails are moving into position. they were. I don't really know what they're doing. Uh-oh. I guess they can shoot him that way. Is almost dead. Just gotta keep an eye on my health bars because I, I don't want to accidentally hurt myself by fighting this battle. Alright, the dirt is dead. Alright, so they've got a spell slinger life over there. My mortars are absolutely de destroying them. Alright, so now she's in melee. She's... that's a bad... that's a bad... well, actually Ariel's doing pretty okay. So if I were to have my Jezails try to fire at this chick, maybe I'll have him come fire at Ariel. I think I'll be safe. Yeah, they're losing momentum, so. I don't think I don't really want 
be right on top of each other. I put them right here. Can they? Let's be honest. I don't care about Scrag's army at all. You are kind of like right on top of each other here. Yeah, that's not a good spot. Is she unbreakable? Because that kind of would make sense. She doesn't do well with guns, apparently. She's got regeneration. She's swinging around. Oh, now she's swinging around that way. Yeah, she's, I think, the only one who hasn't shattered. And I think it's probably because she's unbreakable. Naha! Got her. Okay. Well, I did more in that fight than I was expecting to. Because of Scrag's incompetence, but... Wow, they lost quite a few. And I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure how they would have done without me, even though they had like a whole bunch versus Durthu. But like I said, he got 137 kills, so Durthu is no joke when he's leveled up well. Any day now. All right. Did he lose any permanently? He almost lost this guy. Mm, I'll take mm, money. Okay, so this is going to end up being my last turn because I fought that battle on the map. So. I may end up with a battle, though, because I have a feeling Aranessa wants peace. I think she's going to attack me, though. I think she's going to attack. She wants a peace treaty, but I don't want a peace treaty. She's almost wiped out. But, yeah, that's what I thought. They were going to go after this garrison, so... I don't think that I can win this. Ew! Yeah, I'm probably going to have to auto-resolve it. Oh, I hate doing that. Oh, but they just sacked it. Those stinkers. Spit in the face when they sack my stuff. Oh my gosh. See, this is why you got to be real careful about stuff because right now I'm in really close with Scrag oh my gosh so my feelings here are 285 versus 248 honestly I feel like Wolfric is the bigger threat than Scrag so their allies I would be at war with oh I'd be at war with Moors If I break the alliance, though, Wolfric's not going to like that. Oh, brother. I wish I could save right here. Oh, this is so difficult. Good grief. Alright. 
This is ridiculous. These freaking rogue armies, I hate them. All right, well, we've got some work to do because that, that turn was a mess. That, that turn was an absolute mess. So, all right, well, this is going a direction, so. Oh, did it say that Chant hates me? Oh, we dropped down even one more. Well, he'll have to go after Ronnie Keys or something. Okay, well, poop. I'm going to have to leave it off here, everybody. We've got some messes to clean up. I don't know if I can... Morris is deteriorating with me, but we're still friends. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. But Wolfric has to mess everything up. So I'm going to call it there. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.